Did you know that energy is more powerful than matter? Think about a tornado. You've got a barn, a house, a car, cows, and a big tornado like in the movie Twister comes and things just explode. Energy also exists not just in tornadoes, but in how we relate to each other and in what we bring to work. So this is the seven levels of personal group and organizational effectiveness. We could call these energy levels or a barometer of organizational culture or a temperature check for how I'm feeling today. There's seven levels and at the highest level, synchronicity, we can say we experience happiness almost 100% of the time. But what besides happiness, we're being truly effective in every area of our life. On the lowest level of effectiveness, we're in hopelessness or despair. So we are not feeling any belief that anything could ever get better and we're kind of stuck in that hopelessness energy level. The thing about hopelessness and despair is we might not even know we're there. We might just have given up or we might feel helpless but it is the lowest level of effectiveness. And there's nothing wrong if you're there, but you wanna know you're there and you wanna make a choice of how long you're gonna stay there and what are you gonna do when you're there? You're gonna get help, you're gonna call a friend, you're gonna call a coach, you're gonna to go to a therapist, you're gonna call your mother, what are you gonna do? But you don't wanna stay in hopelessness too long because hopelessness leads to depression. And when you ignore your feels and you pretend you don't have them, they get worse. What you resist, persists. The second level on the seven levels of effectiveness is fear. And it's not very effective when you're operating in fear, living in fear, afraid that you're going to be under almost certain attack, wherever you go, the grocery store, the school, the job, somebody's going to say something wrong. You would live in a world of a low grade amygdala hijack, and you're looking for attack. You might even be calling that to you. So fear is pervasive. And what happens is when you're in fear, your world gets smaller and smaller and smaller. The third level is frustration. Now in frustration, you have more power. You're more effective than when you were in fear because in frustration, you're fighting for something. You're fighting, you're standing for something. You're moving forward. You're getting people together and taking action. So while it's not super effective, it's better than being in fear and hopelessness. Now let's talk about the percentage of happiness you can experience while in frustration, fear, and hopelessness. In hopelessness, people report that they can only access happiness 10% of the time. I'm sorry, 5% of the time. And in fear, 10% of the time. In frustration, it pops up all the way to 25% of the time. Now the line, the power and freedom line is really what I call choice point. This is a choice where I say, I know bad things are happening. I'm not happy with what's happening. I'm actually upset, but I don't wanna live in my upset. So I am going to take a step forward into courage. In courage, I have a belief that something will get better. I believe in a positive possible future that things will be better than they are now with no evidence of how that's going to happen. So courage is the step from frustration over the line, making a conscious choice for a new energy. And here's what happens to you in courage. You have serotonin, dopamine, and oxytocin that now releases through your body and your mind, your brain, and it allows you to see things more clearly. It allows you to see the whole picture. It allows you to have hope. And so I don't want to make it seem so easy. Hey, if you're in fear, just jump over to courage. You've got to process those negative emotions, those negative energy levels, but you get to choose how long you're going to stay there because you as a human being have conscious choice. Engagement is the fifth level of effectiveness on the seven levels. Engagement is when you have already made the choice to play the game to be involved. And now you're leaning in. You're fully participating. You're not focusing on what's not working. You're focus on, focusing on what you can contribute. So companies pay millions of dollars to create engagement through things like foosball games or days off or powwows or parties or beer bongs, whatever they're doing. But what people really need is hope.
They need belief and they need to feel like they're contributing to the betterment of the organization's noble cause and to the betterment of their own career. The sixth level of effectiveness is innovation. This is when we set aside our ego, our agendas. We forget about our ambition and we come together with community and we become a network of contribution and we work together in service of creating something that doesn't even exist yet. And we not only are all in, we're willing to take risks, try things we've never done, play out on the skinny branches. And the final level, the highest level of effectiveness is level seven, which is in synchronicity. In synchronicity, things are just working. Even when they're not working, we're looking at what we're learning from what's not working. We're looking at everything as an opportunity to grow and develop. People report happiness levels, synchronicity 100% of the time, innovation 79% of the time, engagement 72% of the time, and courage 65% of the time, you can experience happiness in these levels. So it, it is about effectiveness, joy, happiness. It's also about living a life you love. And how do you do that? You have self-awareness, you understand where you're at, where you want to be, and you make choices to move up these seven levels. Best of success to you.